Hey there everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Chill, No Man's Sky. So, we're gonna do this mission called Leap in the Dark, and today's episode is gonna be a little shorter. I don't got too much time this weekend. I'm changing schedules at work, so my days are gonna be a little funky. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna end up with more days off right now or less for this week alone, basically. But if I end up with more, then I'll have a lot more time to record, which will be awesome because I didn't get to record almost at all this weekend. It was actually unfortunate, but that's just how it worked out. Now, in terms of, you know, um, if I end up having extra days off, I'll actually be able to record and get super far ahead. And I'm really hoping that's the case. But for now, I, I know I'm going to work tomorrow, but I don't know if they're going to be like, hey, you know, you'll end up having two more days off this weekend. And then I'll just be like, okay, awesome. Now I get extra time off. Now let's go ahead and park this bad boy. Badunk. Refuel that. Hmm. Whoa. What is this? Remnants of Ungum Armai. Army, maybe. Traveler anomaly confirmed. Breach. 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 I approach the portal. I think of every passing thought and idle wish that led me to this moment. Within this gateway, I might find Artemis. I might find the source of the Sentinels. I might find a whole new universe. But it is more than this. This is not fate. I am making a choice. A leap of faith that somewhere out there, in the dark, I will find who I am meant to be. Let's input those glyphs, boy. I step forward, not knowing what I'll find on the other side. But I feel deep in my heart the call towards a deeper truth. This will be the start of everything. Whoa, what? What's that? That was some Stargate Atlantis type thing? Don't, don't touch that. Don't kill me now. Uh, uh, I had this weird cinematic moment there for a second where he was like, weird angle, seeing my own character running into the thing. Oh, that is so weird. I see what looked like frost going through that portal. What? Where am I? Omphon. Whoa. Lost clouds, occasional resources, abundant fauna, copious flora. Breach, 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 and almost. Okay. Limited sentinels. Is this a sentinel home planet? Ooh, an electric cube. Sixteen, 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 sixteen. Atlas protocol initiated. Um. I don't know what's going on. Ooh, another one. I'll take that. Oh God. What? Oh, what is this? Speak with the Atlas. Oh, God. Geometric construct, Nosbor. Hello, world. The text blinks before me. It awaits input. An audio recording plays, echoing out across the vast interface. We were once travelers. We once aspired to be more than dirt and dust. The audio clicks. Time passes. Show me a world, Atlas. Show me something no one has ever seen before. The voice ends. The interface grows still and silent. It awaits a command. Mmm, it's from a diagnostic. Whoa, it has been a buttload of years. 
Uh, how many years? One, two, okay, 100, 000, 10, 000, 100, 000, million, 10 million, 100 million, billion, 10 billion. It has been 19 billion, 462 million, 189,212.21 1 years since last diagnostic. 64% of the worlds are operating within expected parameters. 2,611,384 actionable observations awaiting analysis. Subroutine, sentinel, status, error, null value. Subroutine, glass, status, operational, 4,182 breach attempts. Subroutine, traveler, status, operational, 458 critical error warnings. Exo mind structure in, wait. <clears throat> Subroutine Traveler. Status Operational. 458 Critical Error Warnings. Exo Mind Structure Integrity Compromised. Immediate Repairs Required. Initiate Personality Interface. Uh, yes? Traveler. Reality fades. Everything does. My body, my voice, my soul. All of it speaks to me. The Atlas stands to form me in all of its might. I want to ask about Artemis. I want to find them, but something is happening to me. I need to get out of here. I need to... Scream. I try to scream, but I have no mouth, no form. What? Oh. Okay, things are happening. Um, okay, this is a lot of story that I was not expecting to have suddenly, but I guess we're having this thing now. Back in Amphon. Um, am I supposed to locate my starship, man? Where did it go? Oh, it's way out there. All right, this is very strange. But honestly, this is pretty cool. Like, this is a lot of active story. Oh, there's creatures here. Oh, it's the cubes. Cool beans. The real question is, how did my species, uh, my species, how did my ship get here? This place is a hot mess too. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna just jump cut to me getting onto the ship because I've got a lot of information to process about what was just going on right now. There's an atlas interface here. Let's see what it says. Scenario, iteration 23118766 1T. Transferred, deleted. Probable boundary separation failure. Vessel 16, emptied. Sentinel intervention. Deliberate transfer, unknown. Diagnostic, no connection. Analysis. Awaiting fresh iteration. Anomaly containment prepared. Broadcast, I guess? Traveler anomaly detected. 
Position logged. System integrity scan initiation. Position logged. System integrity scan initialized. Anomaly is compliant. I don't know what that did, but I'm gonna just do it and say we move on. I escaped to my ship, glad of something. I cannot read today, Jesus. I escaped to my ship, glad of something familiar in this strange world. Where has the portal taken me? I was caught in the gravity of that infernal machine, not strong enough to resist. It identified itself as Atlas, the entity so many worship and fear. I saw no sign of Artemis, no trace of sentinels. Why did I even step through that gateway? Why did I follow this path? To rescue Artemis. Is that true? Or is that just a lie I tell myself, the kind of thought a noble person might have? Artemis was in need of assistance, but did I really risk my life for them? There's something more, some other yearning. I stare, as I stare at the console, an opportunity presents itself once more. There is an inbound transmission, emerging from a location on this very planet. You are not alone. The signal appears to be coming from beneath the surface of this world, using the same words that led me to Artemis so long ago. I must descend into the deep to find its source. Let's end that transmission. All right. Let's locate that signal then. Can I take off? Oh, it's damaged. Oh no. I need dihydrogen jelly. Can I make some? Hmm, I have dihydrogen. Do I have enough to make the jelly? I don't think so. Hmm, I don't have enough ferret dust either, I think. Hmm. This is a bit of a problem. I'm gonna figure out what I can do here. If I can find some dihydrogen around me somewhere. There we go. And then I need ferrite dust. So I'm gonna see what I can do. Damage container. Try that. That's inside. A microprocessor. Not the most useful thing. But yeah, I'm gonna go pick up these dihydrogen crystals, get some more ferrite dust, and make my or fix up my ship so I can take off. Cause I'm not gonna walk all the way over there. I also don't have uh, the exo craft stuff yet. That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing next episode is doing some of the base improvement stuff because that I've yet to do. Like I haven't done that in a while now. I think I stopped with the armor. I didn't get the exo crafts. I haven't gotten. Oh, actually, no. I think I got the farmer, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did get the farmer. So if, if this story thing is done here in this episode, then I'll head and do the exo craft and the farmer's missions and all that, and then get the rest of my base upgraded so I can get, you know, the underwater stuff going on. When I find a water planet, like a good water planet. I'll go ahead and make it an underwater base for the next one. It'll be like Subnautica, except fun. Oof. Subnautica is actually very fun. Why did I say that? Uh, let's see. The hydrogen jelly. I got that. I just need a bit more ferrite dust. Let's see. Man, yeah, since I'm finishing this up for now for Lisa this mission I'm not sure what just happened we met with the actual Atlas interface the I guess for lack of a better phrase the antagonist of our story or just the god of our story oh it's pure ferrite they need not ferrite dust oh hold on that I can fix mm, oh, wrong button there we go, equipment. Where's the portable refiner? Let's plop in some fuel, some carbon, some ferrite dust and get the pure carbon. Oh yeah, so one thing 
one theory I might have is I don't know how we got those specific coordinates that led us there, but maybe Atlas wanted us to find it. It said that they were travelers and it could be just its way of messing with me. It could just be like, aha, you know, we're travelers, but we're not really travelers. We're the things that created the travelers. You know, we're the things that wanted the rest of the universe to be discovered so that, that way we can affect it with the sentinels or infect it, I should say, with the sentinels. So that, that way we can stick our, our little tendrils all over. Similar to what, uh, oh my God, I forgot the species name from Marvel. Um, the, I know it starts with the K, it's the Krull, or the, I, I forgot what they're called, but they wanted to blend in with everybody. Yeah, it was the crawl, I think. I think they wanted to blend in with everyone. So in order to do so, what they did was they basically kidnapped humans. Or the scroll. That's what they were called. The scroll, not the crawl. The crawl is a different species. But the scroll were shapeshifters. And in order to, you know, they had like their own super army kind of thing going on. They created the Inhumans. And when that experiment failed, they were like, all right, well, whatever. We you know, we got an army of super weapons that look like humans, but they're not really humans type of thing going on. I'm like, maybe that's what Atlas was doing. They wanted to create something to help them enslave, you know, the rest of the universe. And it just didn't work out. So they gave up on it. And then rather than saying, hey, you know, this isn't your purpose or this is your purpose. Maybe they instilled them with that sense of, I want to go travel because that way they could say, hey, as long as our people don't, you know, crisscross paths and we just send them out into any direction in any star system, then the first of all, the likelihood of y'all crossing paths is beyond slim to none. That's step one. But step two is the fact that if and when we decide to take over, you know, the universe, we've got agents already placed everywhere. Oh, this planet is green. Unknown moon of unknown planet. Oh, that might be the, that's going to be the, probably the perfect planet to land on. Let me just, uh, scan that bad boy. Uh, is it still going to say the unknown moon of an unknown planet? Probably. But yeah, so maybe that's what Atlas is doing. The travelers are basically their uh, sleeper agents kind of thing, and they don't know it. That the Sentinels are only there on specific planets because a traveler has been there at one point or another. It would be interesting, at least story-wise to me anyway. But I won't know that until I get to the end of the game. Alright, so the signal's somehow underground. Let's go find it. Oh, wow, this planet is so pretty. It has greens on it. Oh, hey, never mind. The signal's not underground. It's a grave. I approach the source of a signal. A hologram appears. It is Artemis. There is only silence. The slow pulse of cosmic noise in the signal. Ask if they're all right. If Artemis can hear me, they make no sign. The hologram just stares. It's strange, but I feel a sense of deja vu, as if I've been here before at this very moment. Where are you, Artemis? Come on. They came, <laughs> watched closely. Machines, murderers, <laughs> against the... <laughs> as I move closer, the Artemis projection begins to speak, its words punctuated by a strange static. The voice falls silent. The projection looks at me. Something is very wrong. I scan the hologram. It bears the exact same signature as every other transmission I've received from Artemis. There is no ulterior source for the signal. Everything they have said appears to have come from this cave. As I stand here, Artemis begins to speak. Where are... <coughs> Called them, but they still beloved. Anomaly, they... <coughs> Not a... <coughs> Polo watching us... <coughs> tracking... 
The mistake abandoned, but it wasn't. Through the portal, please don't trust. I'm afraid. Aren't the projection fizzles away to mere static. This echo is all that is left of the entity known as Artemis, a grave of glitched data in a sunless cave. My friend is dead. Perhaps they were never alive. I depart for the sunlight. I must tell Apollo what I have seen. This is Artemis's grave. Well, I said he was in a cave, but he isn't. However, Man, this is crazy. He died right next to a cave. I guess. Maybe that's why he thought he was in a sunless world. Somehow he got teleported into a cave. Man, this planet is so pretty though. I'm, I'm really contemplating building a base on this planet. It looks so much nicer. All right, put that oxygen first though. Gonna refill that. I might actually just build it right here. Right next to his grave. Okay, let's scan the surroundings, see if we find anything. Wow, really? The hollow terminus literally right next door? Okay. I mean, that was really useful. All right, let's climb up this thing. If I build the base out here, though, I want to have more of the salvage technologies. So that, that way I can actually get the tech that I want. Because I want to get better floors, better walls, stuff like that. It'll be a lot nicer. Let's talk to Apollo. Warning, network compromised. Warning, manual override required. There are no signal matches for Artemis or Apollo. The terminal is a stream of warning and errors. So manual override. The warning messages cease. Some new frequency shimmers into being. Okay, so who am I gonna be talking to now? Break, break, break. Data stream overridden. Who are you? You are not alone. Tell me, what is the point in living if we don't know? Let me try that again. <clears throat> Tell me. What is the point in living if we know that life will finish? Hmm. Death does not erase life. That is true. But we could also improve the life of others, you know, carry on something better for the next generation so that they can explore and they can observe things that we never could have. And when they die too, what of those improvements? What then of good and evil? Nothing remembered, nothing forgiven. Wow, this guy is bleak. I know you, Traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. Oh, so this is the guy. What if I told you that Artemis could be saved? What if I told you that Artemis could live once more, after a fashion? What would you do then, I wonder? I'll do it. Like a fool, you rush in, eager to do whatever you are commanded. You remind me of myself, you know. The blood of Artemis is data. The heart is glitch. I can help you retrieve them. We require a mind arc, a receptacle for their soul. Can you do that for me? I am reactivating Artemis's frequency. Speak with them when you're ready. The stranger offers me blueprints for something they call a mind arc. A device they will claim will allow me to restore Artemis's life. All right, let's bring Artemis back. I accept, not knowing who the stranger is or how they possess such knowledge of my adventures. But if there's a chance that I can help Artemis, I will take it. Hell yeah. A mind arc. 
A strange piece of technology, a gift from beyond the stars. It shimmers in a way that is not fully in this world. Chromatic metal, living glass, and a microprocessor. Oh, that's easy. Artemis? Are you... Are you... Are you... Artemis repeats these two words endlessly, unable to see my face or hear my voice. I must craft the mind arc before I can help them further. All right. Let's do it. So first things first, we need copper. Copper, copper, copper. We're going to find some copper. Hmm. It's a paraffinium deposit. Oh, hey. Ugh. What are you? Strange creatures. And young, I guess. It's another grave? Or is that Artemis' grave? Uh, there we go. Don't break your legs in the drop, buddy. Head up. That's probably Artemis' grave, if anything. Hmm. What is that? A house? Oh, it's a building. Oh, that's pretty neat. Hmm. Yeah, this is Artemis' grave. Superheated rainstorm, you say? There's another grave? Well, that has me curious. Whose grave is this? Which is located right over here. Hmm, right in between the star bulbs, huh? Whoa, look at that guy. He's massive. Oh God, he did rainstorm, he did rainstorm. Huh, more animals, pretty neat. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, sweet Jesus. That's hot. <laughs> Will Smith, that's hot. That's hot. Yeah, that's, that's a little too hot. So I'm going to wait for this to wear off, and then we can go ahead and continue exploring. I just realized I actually don't need any more uh, copper. I have some. Also, this thing said that there was a grave around here, and yet I don't see it. Look at these guys. Let's go ahead and drop this thing over here. All right, let's uh, equipment, portable technology. There we go. Go ahead and craft it up for me. No, wrong one. I need the copper and quickly before I die of heat. Okay, the storm's clearing. Where's my copper? I know I said I had some. Oh, okay, it's on my starship. Crap baskets. Can I call my freighter here? I just realized all this stuff is on my freighter. Ah, <sighs> great. If it's all on my freighter, that's a problem. Look at this thing. What even are you? I kind of want to go take a picture. Hold on. I'm going to go take a picture. You are massive, my guy. Hold up. How do I do it? 
How do I get to picture mode? It's uh, X. Yeah. Look at this giant mad lad. Is walking on its tippy toes. I gotta get a little closer. I see. I see. Come here. It's like walking in circles. doing this my guy this strange creature is walking in circles just perusing the same spot over and over wow he's actually shaking the earth jesus like, look, look, look. i'm gonna get as close as i can without aggroing it if it is aggressive i don't know is it exotic constant remembers faces gravitino balls you can see it actually shaking the camera oh that is so weird and so ugly i love it Game is beautiful. Come here, big boy. I should take a picture of you. Holy moly. You are hideous. I friggin' love it. I need you to get a little closer, my guy. I want you to be looking at me. And there we go. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Work it, baby. Work it. Hold on, let me just, uh, how do I, how do I do this again? How do I do this again? Um, E, there we go. Oh my lord. Where are your eyes? There they are. You have no arms. You have a thorax. Okay, let's not move the sun there. I did not mean to put the sun into the earth. Put it over there. Such a good shot. Oh, I love this. What else I got? Yeah, let's do it like that. I like this. Nope. Oh, man, I messed it up. I gotta wait for you to pass by again. All right, I'm having way too much fun with this. All right, let's go ahead and find some copper. Salt deposit. Whoa, what the... Is that just him stip stomping around? Hmm. Oh, hey. Bird bugs. Cool beans. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure something out. See how I'm gonna get the copper. If I can call my freighter, I'm just gonna do that. Let me see, can I summon my freighter to here? I don't know if I can, but I'm gonna try. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, perfect. That makes my life a whole boatload easier. All right, I'm going to just go to my freighter. That is an awesome view, man. Oh, I can just do this from outside my ship. Oh, that is so nutso. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, this is this is some thumbnail stuff right here, baby. Oh, that's beautiful. How am I gonna do this? Uh, lower fog density. Yeah. Oh, this is so. I'm gonna have way too much fun with this when I actually get into like taking pictures in oh god 
Once I actually get into taking pictures in uh, like on my base. Let's go ahead and head over to my freighter. Pick up the materials, make the mine dark for Artemis, and call it a day for there. Oh Jesus, I called you literally right next to this planet. So I couldn't even boost out yet. Alright, so what I need to do is... I'm going to use these. There we go. Hmm. See, what I need are these. I need this in my ship. Or my exosuit will work, I guess. What do I need to transfer? So I can have some more space. Okie dokes. I think that'll do. Alright, Freighter, I'll be right back, baby. So, what's cool about this game, at least to me anyway, is the fact that you can use your Freighter as both a base, as well as just, you know, extra storage. Along with all the extra vehicles that you can actually make in this game. So let's go, whoa, 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 what is that random upswing? Let's go ahead and return to the planet. Tune into Artemis, we're gonna make him the mind thing that he needs, the mind arc. And hopefully uh, fix things. Give him a place to stay. Wow, that is a nice looking mountain. That's uh, too fast to initiate landing, what do you mean? I'm landing just fine. That's what I need to make the mind arc. Uh huh. That's not the button I meant to hit. It's the button. Equipment, I guess? Maybe? Would it be under portable technology? Or did I just need to. Oh no, blueprints, blueprints, blueprints. I'm dumb. I forgot how to play the game. Here we go. The mind arc. I need living glass, more chromatic metal. How do I make living glass? Living glass. I need lubricant and glass. How do I make lubricant? I need a gamma root. I need lots of gamma roots. How do I make glass? Frost crystal. So I need to go to an ice planet. Okay, so this is not happening all in this episode. I need to find a radioactive planet and I need to find a ice planet. All right. So we'll just go ahead and save that for the next episode then, you guys. It's been fun, but this is the Afro Lad signing out. I will catch you all here next time on Let's Chill No Man's Sky. If you liked today's episode, we got a lot of information down for this episode for sure. So next episode, we'll finish up the Artemis storyline. Other than that, guys, if you liked today's episode of Let's Chill No Man's Sky, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think I should name that weird bug, bird, cr giant creature. And that, guys, I will catch y'all here next time. And I hope you all have a great and wonderful day and a great and wonderful week. So I will catch y'all here next time. Have a great day, everyone.